Hello, hi, how are you today? I'm Patricia McNeely, located in Chicago. How are you doing? Is it crazy? You're not crazy. There is crazy energy. It's a full moon. Just ask anyone who works at the ER, anyone who's driving a car, anyone who has children or a pet. Just ask anyone who has a neighbor, right? It's starting to feel like that. Like what in God's name is happening? We've had like the solar eclipse. We've had solar flares and along comes another moon and it's going. So let me just give you a word of wisdom here. Time heals. Let's take that one step further. If time is speeding up, does that not mean that some of your healing can go faster? What do we mean by healing? Okay, healing means like all those things from the old paradigm that just don't work in the, they don't work in the new level. They don't work in the new paradigm. They am not gonna damn work in your twin flame union. You can't carry it with you. You can't, your other half can't. You've got to divest that stuff and shed it and get rid of it and purge it and vomit it out, right? Time is actually helping us, even though it seems like a time compression. Why? To get some of you to go to the exit. Now, this moon is pivotal because this moon is a bit of a gateway. What are you going to do for the latter half of the year? What decisions have you made? Have you been flung back into karma or are you deciding and making a conscious choice and effort and investment to move forward with your twin flame ascension journey? Now, let me tell you, I've had a lot of feedback from people and I've had my own stuff. I did a video about it where you feel this somehow deep missing of stuff. You feel like sorrow moroseness you're feeling a bit of the collective i mean there's like three or four major wars going on you're gonna feel some of it there's no avoiding some of this stuff but helping isn't jumping into the fray helping means get yourself to that level where you can actually turn around and do some better stuff for others get yourself better first this moon is about perspective and that means changing your perspective that means not falling into old habits, old addictions, old exes, even if they circle around. And let me tell you something, this whole year is one giant retrograde to put it right in front of you again. You know, like what's obscuring your path? Did that X pop up and you're like playing whack-a-mole? Like, oh, why did that pop up? Boom. Why did that pop up? Boom. Instead of putting out fires and constant wondering or trying to get messages, let's make this really simple and focused, okay? You, you, Vogue, let your body move to the music, yeah. You have to be like me, 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 me. This is to be about me because I have to get me better because if ain't me better, ain't nobody going to be better. Yes, it is. So your perspective, stop skewing your perspective with more addictive stuff, whatever that is. Stop seeking like deeper meanings in the random karmic stuff that happens. Karma's going to keep happening. You cannot make sense out of things that are senseless. And that's what we've done in the fourth dimension. That's where our minds and our, you know, frontal lobe and our memory banks get a little scary because they're like, well, that happened. And there was that time that that happened. It's very vague. You can't see it. You can't see your past lives. You can't remember when you were a different race or a different color, but you might remember the traumas by how it feels. You might want to obliterate that with some stuff, some substances, some fighting, some conflict, some provocation. I mean, there's a lot of people trying to provoke people. Why? Because they're feeling all this tension here and they got they want to put it on you. They want to push your buttons. Why well, say no? We have to set energetic boundaries. It happens in the workplace. It happens in houses. It happens in families. It's terrible for children to live in that environment. 
It's terrible if children feel like they have no choices. Now, what are some of the other things about this? Ah, it's recapturing some of your wisdom. So this is a flower moon where things should be flowering and blossoming inside you. Your heart expands, okay? Your throat expands, but it's not for yelling at people or giving it back to them or conflict or arguments. No, there's a better way. You don't need to speak to me that way, right? And then they're like this, like you can literally see them going, their brain starts scrambling and they're going, what just happened? I couldn't find the button to push. Baby, you couldn't find the button in a million years anymore, right? That's what we want to tell people. You can't find my buttons. <laughs> you honestly never could, but we all got used to playing the game, right? That's fourth dimension. Senseless killing, senseless abuse, senseless corruption. Without making this, it is about mentalities. This is an airy, fiery energy. If you don't believe this, just go look at all the storms, okay? We got air, fire, water affecting the earth. We've got the sun going, okay? Sagittarius is an action sign. What are we knocking out of the park here, okay? Why are you not putting some skin in, into this? In other words, why are you not, you know, getting off your duff and actually working with your light body? Because that is where your new connections are seated. That's where they have to flower. How this works is when you decided to incarnate here, you made some choices about that. You made choices about like, yeah, I think I'll just land in on this family in this location with this kind of karma because they'll help me get rid of it. Okay, fair enough. But are you doing that or are you repeating it? Really? Too much karma is being repeated and we need to be done and finished with it. Okay, what are some of the other things? We've got an influence of Jupiter. We've got Venus. That's the feminine. That's many of your houses, your love house, your homes and houses, your money, and your love, and your love life. And in case I need to remind you, this isn't about discovering a narcissist. This is about 5D love. Being a twin flame is enacting the 5D love and letting it work through you. Not yanking a whole dimension down. It's getting you up connected to it. First and foremost, there is a plan. There's a phase in plan and there's a phase out plan. What else about this moon? What else? Right? It's about making your life better. It's about making those hard, solid choices. And even if you cannot take that leap or that leap of faith, we help you to start formulating your plan where it begins to come to you. And it's not about saying like, if I'm supposed to be alive on this planet, let me see a license plate with a number four four in it or an 11. I really need to see that because I'm white knuckling through my life right now. No, we can help get you calm, balanced. Anyone feel lonely? Anyone feel weepy? Anyone feel angry? Because you're going to be at both ends of that spectrum. You're going to be like, I'm so angry and I'm hangry and I'm so lonely and I wish this would just pop already and I'm angry about it and I'm, you know, and okay. We want to bring that to the middle for you. We always have monthly classes, webinars, and I'm having live classes in Chicago to help you with exactly these things. Now, what about your limitations? Your physical human life and your physical human body is limited, but it's always been operated by your light body. It's simply time to unplug some things not throw you off, not destabilize you, and get you reconnected. And that's what I do. 
do you want to be, are you just like between faith and, you know, like falling into a black hole or are you willing to take one more baby step forward? Can you do one more step? Now, this is a big holiday weekend in Chicago and the United States, okay? I say it's big in Chicago because there's parades, there's a lot of loveliness that people are planning and looking forward to. Barbecues gatherings, parties, going to the beach, going on a mini break, a mini trip, getting away. And people really look forward to this as the beginning of summer. Now, oddly, summer solstice isn't until June 20th. Does that matter? We have to start summer now because what do you want in your life? Play, fun, friends, companionship, Love, 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 and not just any love. You're here for a really blasting, like high level, sensual, emotionally intimate, and deep, profoundly passionate, poignant love. Do you like all those PPP? Profoundly passionate, poignant love. It is. And if you have not felt it and your only experience is being abused by someone, you really need to join so that you can get this because it makes that feeling well up inside you. No matter if you are plagued by paranormal, right? I mean, some people, that's how they awaken. Why would you have that? Why would that be your awakening? Well, I talk about that in my brand new book, which is listed in the description below. So please uh, see about joining us. Please look at the description below or on my website at twinflamereconnection.com. Enjoy the moon. Enjoy the full beauty of the moon. Enjoy it with fire. Enjoy it with the seashore. Be safe. Have a good day. But please let us help you because our help is next level because it's for the next paradigm. It is for the new paradigm. Bye now. <laughs>